Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to work on the envelope journal today. I haven't got anything done on the outside. I've got lots of ideas of what to do, but right now we're going to work on the inside. Now, I did put this here because I wanted a big side tuck pocket, and then I put a little pocket here, and we're going to put something else on there. I don't know what. I did go ahead and just finish covering these envelopes just because it was just a couple of them left and I wanted to go ahead and get them done. That's that beady beady one and that one and then I covered that one and then that and the rest of them were already covered. Now we're going to make some tags for this journal today and we may add on some other pockets and different things. I don't know. We're going to <laughs> we're just going to go and see what happens. But I do want to go ahead and do my tags and things before I stitch it in. It'll just be easier for me to measure and things like that. So I'm going to lay this aside for a while. Now we need a big tag for the front right here. Let's just start in the beginning and see what happens. Oh, I made a big pocket here. So we need a tag there. Let's get our measuring tool here. Oh, it is six but we are going to have to cut it probably five and a half is going to be the largest that we're going to be able to make and I'll probably go about seven inches so five and a half by seven just because I want it to be pretty tall and then you can take things out if you want put things in now I'm just I've got a lot of paper here printed that just from different collections so I'm just going to grab one that I think would work well and put it on there. I'll make a tag out of it. I don't have the collection that I used inside there. Different, of course, I used a lot of scraps, but I used some of my uh, coffee collection in there too. And I don't have that printed out. So we're just going to grab some different scraps here. Now I've got some of that but it's printed on front and back so I don't really want to use that I know I sh probably should have picked this out before huh but you know that your tags can be made out of whatever you do they do not have to match perfectly I, really I like my tags to be a little bit different so let's see what we might let's see how that would go could make a big tag out of that that'd be pretty or we could make a big tag out of this that's got a little blue in there I think I'm gonna use this one and like I said these are from all different collections I couldn't even tell you who all I think this is Rach and Bella but I'm not a hundred percent sure so don't hold me to that so what did I say we needed five and a half by seven I think I'm going to go ahead and grab the mumbo jumbo up here. So how have you guys been doing? I haven't even talked to you since Friday. I have, I've just been busy in the house and then I kind of didn't feel too great. One day I had a really bad sore throat. You know, I told y'all on Friday that my throat was sore. So I ended up going to the doctor and I had strep throat. So I hadn't really been doing a lot over the weekend but it's a lot better today who knows who I picked it up from but I picked it up somewhere all right so that's going to be our tag and I think that's going to yeah that's going to go in there great and then when we pull that out we'll see all of this so I like that let's go ahead and put something heavier on here on the back because this is not very thick paper okay I've got this piece and it was from 49 in market the Christmas collection I've got this piece of thin chipboard that I can put here so I'm gonna put that down <clears throat> now I may cough a little bit if I do and I don't get it cut out I'm sorry so but I am I am on the mend good to go look at that big glob of glue I got right there isn't that wonderful just chunk it out Edith let me grab a towel Good way to use up all your glue. Okay, I had to grab a baby wipe. And I don't know what this is that I've got on the side of my 
my glue. It looks horrible though, but I've tried to get it off and it's just, it's glued there. Stuck, stuck. So I won't worry about it. Now I could trim this with my trimmer, but you know I like to cut with scissors, so that's what I'm going to do. Oops. Now I'll save this piece because there's still a lot of good chipboard in there that I can use for some of the other tags. So I will save that piece. And then... I'm going to cover this with some writable paper. Now, I'm hoping the camera and everything is better today. I have um, got my new little port thing, and it's all on there ready to go. Well, it's hopefully it's working. I did a little test video, and it seemed to be working better. So, we shall see. I still think I've got to get another cord for my microphone because it's still not real loud. I'm ha I have to talk a lot louder and then I have to adjust the sound when I go to edit. So, and I shouldn't have to do that. But that's not a beaky. They're, you know, they're like a couple of dollars. I just gotta get one. This is just some scrap paper I had laying over there and it'll be a good writable paper. I don't, you'll be able to write on that very well. So I did watch a lot of videos over the weekend. I tried to find something on TV. There was nothing. I did a lot of fussy cutting because that's about all I felt like doing. I just, like I said, I didn't feel horrible, but I didn't feel like doing a lot, you know. And my throat hurt so bad I didn't want to try to talk. So that's why I didn't do a video on Saturday. We didn't get our From Junk to Journal done. But we will try to get one of those done this week or a couple of them done this week maybe okay so that's going to be our big huge tag now what am i going to do about the corners i think i'm going to round them with the biggest corner round maybe oops i think i'm gonna have to use my big corner rounder now, I didn't let the glue dry, so who knows if this will work real well, because you have to let the glue dry. This this trimmer does not like wet paper, but it seemed to work pretty good. So let your glue dry before you try to use your, it's a, what, is, what this is, is a corner rounder from, um, it's Crocodile Corner Chomper, and I think it's We Are Memory Keepers as well as the other one that we have. Now, whoops. First off, I'm going to knock everything over, and then I'm going to ink. And I'm inking with just Vintage Photo right now. Don't know what I'll go to in a little bit, but right now that's what I'm doing. We did get some new inks in. I got the VersaFine Claire in. If you like to do stamping, that is one of the best inks to stamp with. This is, I've got a couple of them here on my desk. This is Paradise and this is Pinecone. And they do stack together real well, as you can see. But I've been wanting some of those for a while. I had some a long time ago and I used them and I've been wanting more. And I didn't, didn't break down and do it. So I thought, that I, I think I'll get them this year. This year's going to be the year. So I went ahead and got them. And I put a couple, I had to order three just to get mine. So put a couple in the store. If you want them, then order those. And if somebody else wants them, then I will definitely get more in stock. But they're fantastic for stamping. And like I told you guys, I've been trying to use my stamps more. Because I've got them, so why not use them, you know? So, since I wanted to use my stamps more, then I decided I better get a good ink to stamp with. Now, I, this is all, <laughs> this is a lot of the fussy cutting that I've done over the weekend. It's a mess. I haven't got it all sorted out yet. But, I saw something in here that I wanted to use earlier this morning when I was going through. Let's put another bird up here. What do you think about that? Or is that is that much? Is that too much? What do you guys think? And then I love this flower. 
Let's pull it back out. All right, I love this flower, and I know the background has got flowers and things on there, but you can always do more if you want to. Then I had a label that I might stick in there just to kind of let that bird sit on, maybe, like that. We might even put another one on this side. Don't be afraid to add more than one label on your projects. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing whatsoever. We might do this, but this one down here. And I know that might be hard for you to see in the screen, but I mean, I can see them well here. Plus, we are going to ink everything. So that's going to make a difference. I just love this bird. I don't know what kind of bird it is. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments below. I like that little top hat it's got there. Try not to break it. And then just a little bit of ink on the very tips of these flowers. I don't know where I got these flowers either. I'm sorry. Like I said, a lot of this was just pieces that I had in my stash that needed to be cut out. And I had been putting it off. So I just grabbed it out over the weekend when I didn't feel like doing much else and just started playing with them. Started cutting them out. Okay. I think we'll put this label here. We'll put it right there. And I have to kind of hold everything up to see if I'm getting it straight. Now, this is bowing just a little bit right now, but it won't when I get through with it. So just hang on. Okay, and then we're going to put this flower right there. And then this little guy is going to go over here to the side. And I'm just going to lift that up and tuck it in just a little bit. And do I have that straight? Nope. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and put this on here. I'm going to lift this one up just a little bit. I can lift it up a little bit for a while and then our glitter glue stuck for good. So if you don't get it, if you don't get it in the beginning, you won't get it. Nope, not straight again. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that little bit that I had hanging off there. I didn't didn't get it far enough under this, but that's okay. It's not a biggie. And then this little guy is gonna sit up here. He's gonna sit on that label. And he's going to pretend that he just got through chomping down on some of that pollen that was in that flower. Okay. Oh, I like that. See, it doesn't matter how busy your background is. Sometimes you can still add some things on and kind of make it your own. So that's that one. See how it looks when we put it in here. Oh, I love that. Love it, love it. And I don't mind two birds there. That doesn't bother me at all. I love birds. Okay. Now we'll go to the next one. Let's go ahead and make a tag to go in here in this one. Now, we will not get all these tags made on the video today. There's just no way because there's a ton of tags that go in here. But we'll get, you know, some of all of them. I'll try to make some different sizes and get some of all of them done. But we'll make one for this first. I mean, this is just kind of me showing you my process on how I go about making tags. And what I do first is usually I grab a piece of this. That is going to fit perfectly. It's just the right size. And that's going to be my backing. Now this just came off of a American Crafts uh, something that I got with ephemera in it. So we're going to lay that right there so I can see kind of what paper. 
what paper we want to use. Really doesn't matter because we've got lots of different colors in the background. But we shall see. I think this right here is adorable with her on there. I think we might use her. Now this is an Easter paper from last year sometime again. I don't know what collection it's from. I'm sorry, but... When I put them in, when I use a lot of the collection and then I have just a few sheets left, I just put them in a stack. And that's what I call my scrap stack. It's the stack that I can use, you know, for things like this. It's not a complete collection, but I can, I can use the different sheets for tags and things like that. So that's what this is. And I'm going to try to get all of her on there. Hopefully, I got her somewhat straight. Well, you know, it's not perfect, but it'll work. I don't think I'm going to be able to move it over. Maybe, since I did glue stick, maybe. Oh, well, we're going to leave it. I don't want to rip it. I've already pressed it down. Glue stick will move until you press it down real well, or this one will. When I talk about glue sticks, I talk about the one that we sell and we carry. Uh, this one will move a little bit as long as you don't press it down real well, but when you press it down, it's there So that's the difference in this one and maybe another one and I had already pressed this down before I looked But I don't think it's gonna matter. I think it's still gonna be good. Yeah still good And she cute She's a little cutie and then let's just put a piece of this on the back. This is another scrap. And I think this is from... I, I really don't know. I'm sorry. I really don't know. My porch prints, I think. But now, don't hold me to that. Because I can't remember even my digitals half the time. Oh, and I did put up two new digitals today. Um... One that Alicia had made by herself, and then one that Presley helped her make. So Presley has three sheets in the one, and I think it's called uh, My Valentine, I think is the name of it. It is beautiful. Presley did such a good job. She asked me the other day, she said, Nene, do you think that I could start making some digitals to go in your store? And if they're good enough, you could put them in your store and then... Maybe if somebody would like to buy them that you could pay me for them. <laughs> I said, baby, you make the digitals and then I'll put them in the store. I know they're going to be good enough because she's very, very talented. She, she can draw and paint and all kinds of things. So I knew she would be talented enough. That, that was not a question. And she has made some absolutely beautiful pages. So you guys will have to go over and check those out. I'll link them below so that you can check them out. But she wanted the first one she wanted to make with her mother because she she wasn't very secure. So I said that's fine. And I'll probably be using it in my Valentine journal. I'm gonna do one Valentine journal and or maybe one. I, I may end up at doing two, but right now I'm planning on doing one and I will probably use that digital. In my Valentine journal now I'm gonna put this in here now some of these I'll be putting toppers on but I don't know which one so right now I'm just kind of making the tags and we'll do the toppers and things later I'm gonna save that one because it's gonna be basically the same size of this and then I'll probably go let's go to let's see this one was we going where was we gonna cut it I think we was gonna cut it on this end Let's go ahead and open this one up, and we'll do a little tag for it. Make sure that I got it open. Yes. This is a one-inch punch. Oh, my goodness. That was tougher than I thought.
right let's see what size this is let's make a tag for it this is two and a half so we don't need to go too much over two and a quarter maybe and then that's four so maybe four and a quarter two and a half by four and a quarter so let's find a paper that we want to use and we can use a scrap on this let's see what size this is this is a good scrap that's a perfect it's perfect <laughs> it's exactly the right size four and a quarter these are the E zero rulers. A lot of people ask me what this is. This is not the Tim Holtz one. This is the one that we made. Uh, it's made out of a very tough acrylic. It's got the zero on this side where you can, you know, find your center of anything just by going by that zero and then just looking to see if both ends are at the same point. And then on this side, it has your inches. And then it also has, and I'll try to show this, it also has, and I, don't, I know you can't see it, but little holes here, little bitty holes, and they're like every 16, no, let's see, they're every eighth of an inch. So if you wanted to punch something to, let's say you wanted to do some stitching and you wanted to punch your holes first, you can use this ruler to do that. I'll show you if you put it down here and just take your punch and punch down in those. I'm just doing it with my pencil right now just to show you so you could punch just those holes and then you'd have a place for your stitches to go through so and it's also one and a half inches wide so anything that you want one and a half inches you can just lay it down on here and you got your right measurement just wanted to go over that because some people ask me is that the Tim Holtz ruler no that's not the Tim Holtz that's ours that's the e-ruler okay we're gonna cut that off there and I don't mind that it's got part of a word on there but it doesn't bother me I'm gonna try to lay these over to the side I've got too many things on my desk okay let's make sure that that's gonna fit and it is now we need to put something on the back just to make it a little bit thicker I think I'm just going to glue these two pieces together. See if I can erase those first. If I can't, then I'll have to go with another piece of paper. Oh yeah, they erased fine. This is writable. So I think we'll glue those two pieces together. And that should be strong enough for a pocket. Now I want this one on top, I believe. Like I said, I don't mind that it has half of a word on it. That doesn't bother me. Let's see if I can get them even. Somewhat even. Oh yeah, I think that's going to be plenty wide enough. Or thick enough, I mean. Trim that little bit off there. Okay, the telltale sign is if you can stick it in without it kind of bending and bowing. And we can. No problem. Now this one I think I'm going to cut into a tag shape. Because we'll put some seam binding in it. Since it sticks out a little bit at the end. Put some seam binding in there and... It will be all finished up. Let's see. Do I want to use this? Maybe. Yeah. And that's just a little ribbon punch. And I usually always have it linked below because I have lots of questions about where I got that. It's just a little ribbon punch. Now I will come back and add my trim on the top of these I'm gonna add it right now okay let's put a label maybe a two labels maybe who knows how many labels let's see I might want that one there I think I'll put a little blue on it because of that blue okay let's go with another flower on this first and then we'll put this blue label on I think I want to do that 
and put that little blue one there. Is that what I want to do? And then maybe we'll put a little one up here. And if you've got, if you have purchased digitals and all you have is some large labels, if you'll just go back in and print your digitals, your digital labels at maybe two to a page or three to a page, then you'll get some little small ones like that. All right, we are going to put this down right there. And then I think, let me look at it again. Yeah, we'll put that one there and I might wrap it around a little bit. I liked having a little bit smaller version, but I don't think I have this one smaller, so it's going to be fine. Just wrap that around. Oops, come on, you got glue. You got to stick down. Okay. And then put a little ink on there okay you little leaf don't want to stick down do you don't want any of my leaves sticking up because they'll get hung when the tag goes in and out there we go so we will put this down in here if I can get it open again And I've got a little bit right there that needs to be glued again. There we go. We've got that tag in. So that is another size tag. So let's see what else. Okay, let's do this big one that goes... Oh, I'm knocking everything over. Let's do this big one that goes in here because that's going to be a giant one. Okay, we've got... We can do it uh, four and three quarters. And then I'll do it eight and a quarter. So four and three quarters by eight and a quarter. Now, if you don't want to measure, just stick some paper in there and mark it. Four and three quarters by eight and a quarter. Is that what I said? I think so. Okay, we've got some yellow flowers, blue flowers. Okay, I think I'm going to use this right here. It's got some of the same colors in it. We've got yellows and blues and pinks. So, let's trim this outer part off here. Now, this is a very thin paper. I think this was printed on just regular copy paper, so it's going to have to have a backing, a good backing. So, this is just my process in making tags. I know a lot of people just make... You know, just do blind tags and just make a bunch of different colors and sizes. I've got some of those in my ephemera box, but this one, is, there's so many particular sizes that I didn't want to do that. I may have one made here or there that fits, but I don't know. So, what did I say? Four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. And it was eight and a quarter. Is that right? I don't know if this is going to be eight and a quarter. No, nope, it's a little bit short, but that's going to be all right. Not a problem. It's not going to be a problem. Now, I just do a little dry run. Yeah, that's going to fit. And I think this is going to be, yep, that's going to be just the right size for the back. I don't, I don't even worry about that hole. I just cover it up. I'm just keeping this book out of frame as best I can because it does have a lot of shine on it. Plus it has a lot of people's pictures in it from here in town. So don't necessarily need to show those people. They might not appreciate that too much. So that looks like it's glued on well. So there we go. That's going to be nice and thick. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and put a piece on the back that we can write on. And I think I'll just use a scrap of this. Yeah, that should work. This is an old envelope. It's a digital of an old envelope. So I'm going to have to use my glue because this is, again, printed on just regular copy paper. And I can see through this so I can hopefully see where to place this. And some of these I may have to stitch around. I don't know. I'll um, determine that when I start to put everything together. And this this journal is already sold. I had someone message me about it. And like I told you the other day, if you're interested in getting in line to get a journal, you can send me an email at the email below that's linked in the description and I can put your name down. Now I can't guarantee you how long it will be because right now I've got about 10 in line but I will get it done as soon as I possibly can. And you can specify if you don't want, like if you don't want Easter or you don't want this or that, you can specify that, but I'm not gonna start making just, you know, I'm not gonna start doing, somebody says, oh, I want one with bugs. I want one with this. I can't, can't really go that route because it would just take me too long. First off, I'd have to make a digital. <laughs> and then, okay. But you can specify, you know, if you don't want Easter, you don't want Valentine, or, you know, something like that, you can specify that. I had one that's already specified that she didn't, didn't want an Eastery one because she wants to use it all year round, and that's fine. I can do that. If you want a spring one, I'm fixing to start doing a lot of spring ones. Fixing to, my son-in-law laughs at me for saying that. I'm about to do a lot of spring ones. <laughs> Benji just laughs at me for saying fixing to. I said, well, it's just, I just say it quick. I said, my mother used to say that all the time. And he said, I don't know what fixing to means. He said, is that in the Webster's Dictionary? I said, leave me alone. <laughs> My son-in-laws love to aggravate me. And I love to aggravate them too. I just rounded these corners just because it'll be easier to go in and out of that pocket. And there's lots of writing room on the back. Plus, that's a beautiful vintage envelope there. I love that. Okay. So we will put that there. Oh yeah, it fits great. Now, do we want something else on here? It's got flowers, it's got all kinds of things. But, I may want something else. I think I'm gonna put just part of that tag on the front. I wanna get that little stamp right there. And then, I think I'll put some of my washi. And I'm going to put the one with the butterfly because I think we need butterflies on there, don't we? And I don't I don't have a lot of butterflies cut out right now, so we'll do it this way. You could also stamp on some of these and I might do that. Uh, when I come back and start putting everything together, might stamp some things on them. But today, we're just going to concentrate on tags. Let's see, I don't want that right up against that one. So we'll wrap that around. Make sure it glues down on the back. And then, I think over here, Right, I'm going to cut a little of this off that's on the side here. So we can get our butterflies on there. Then I'm going to cut some of this side off. And that's just um, not even cutting any of the words. It's just cutting some of the 
extra plastic or whatever this is sticking out there. Oh, got a wrinkle. If you get a wrinkle, just take your tool and press it down. There you go. Wrinkle solved. I like that. But now I think I want something up here too. It could be another piece of washi. I love how they put that on there. That's cute. Um, we could bring in a little bit of blue since we've got blue here, but that's the wrong color blue. Bring in a little bit of the blue up here and just wrap that one around too. I've got a hundred thousand labels, so I need to use them. <laughs> I'm a label aholic, I think. I think I need a 12 step program for labels obsession. And I don't even care what they say. I don't it doesn't bother me what they say. I just put them on. I think they're pretty. Okay. That is another nice tag and a good writable on the back. So we'll slide that one in there and I love this. See we've got that little red stamp that goes with this. Got the yellow and the pink. So I love how that goes together. All right. Whoops. This is not going to work. Just see how that bent. So we're going to have to cut this off some. So this is letting you see how I fix my mistake. This one's not going to be able to stick out very much at all. Let's see if that's too much. Yep, still just a little bit much. Okay, let's see if this works better. That's the thing about this journal. You've got to watch where everything folds. And see, that's not going to stick out now. It's not going to fold over, so that's good. And then we're going to have some seam binding or baker's twine or something in there so that will work on that one okay do you guys want to do a little tiny one want to do this little baby now we're not going to be able to get a lot in this one at all it may just be a little label that we stick in there let's see if we've got a label or something that's just about the right size what about what about one of these oh yeah that's going to go in there perfect so this is just a little lighthouse stamp that I made. I had a digital on this. I think it was a freebie, actually. And I'm just going to slide that in there. And they can use that either in this journal or in another journal. Oh, are you going to slide in there? Yes, you are. There we go. And I don't want to leave it sticking out much because it will bend just enough to let the person know that there's something in there. And then I will decorate some of the pages later. We'll do that later. Now this one is another little bitty one. We could also use just a label of some kind. Let's see what we've got. We have some larger ones. That's too large. That will work. This is a little invoice, digital invoice of fruit. And then they can write on the back or cover the back or use it somewhere else as ephemera. There's just no need in making tags for those tiny little ones. Let's do something like this. And we'll just tuck that right in there. There we go. That one's finished. I like that. So those two are finished. We need a tag for this. I think I'll use this piece and just back it and put it in there. This is just a piece of ephemera. And I'll just back it with a good strong paper. This should work well. Let's see. This is a strong paper here and so Put two strong papers together and you got a strong tag, right? Or journal card or whatever we're going to make this into. OK, 
Okay. And I like that backing on it too. It's got some pink in it, like that pink. Um, I think I'm just going to round the corners. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll slide that in there. So that will be good. I am going to put a little bit of something on the bottom here. Just a little label or something. Maybe just a little label like that. It says specimen. And this is out of one of our digital kits. I don't remember which one. But if I can find it, I'll link it below. But you guys can always go over and see the photos. I like that. And then we'll stick that right in there. So there is that one. We need to make one for this. Okay, this piece of ephemera is going to go in here perfect. And I don't even mind that it's gray and this is not gray. Uh, it's still going to work great. And this is the War Medals for the... Mercantile Marine, Joseph Hart Paisley. Hmm, they got a war medal evidently. That's cool. And I'm just going to back this on some of this ledger paper. And someone said that they didn't know when to use glue stick and when to use art glitter glue or when to use just the different glues that we have. I have done a video on glues, and if I can remember, I'll link it below. It's just different glues that we sell and that I use, and when to use them and what to use them on, things like that. Hopefully it's pretty informative for you. If I forget to link it, somebody just nudge me, and I will get the link and put it in there. Okay, I think this one I'm just going to leave squared off. I don't want to round and lose anything. Oops. Don't put it upside down. Oops. What do we got there? Oh, a little piece that needs glued down. And then that little piece needs to glued down. Okay. That should work. Yes. There we go. I love that. So, I think, let's see, so we've got something in all pockets on this one. We need to start over here and then do a few more on this side. And I think I'm going to add just a few little pockets, like at the bottom, maybe a corner pocket here or there. Or I don't know. Might, might add a little pocket here to put a tag in. Pocket here. It's going to have plenty of pockets and tags, believe me, and journaling cards. But I think that's all that we're going to do today. You can see that it's filling up, and that's good. I like them to be nice and chunky. But I've, I've got lots of ephemera and things here that I'm going to be adding in. Some of them I'll make tags or journal cards out of, and some of them I'll just slide them in for the person that receives it so that they can have lots of extra ephemera to play around with. All right, guys, that is it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you will, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave your comments because we do have that big giveaway coming this week. So you guys are going to have to be a subscriber and have to leave a comment on one of the videos this entire month. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye.